I'm getting up in the tail. Yell, I'll beat his ass. THF Billa, whatever you got to say, goofy, I'll beat out you too. And the Billy, I'll beat you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into the video, make sure y'all head down to Instagram now and check out our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. Now, we're able to be a little more explicit and uncensored on there, where we could talk freely without running the risk of losing our page and having our YouTube channel terminated. So, make sure you head on down there now to Instagram and follow us at Hookah Anonymous underscore. So, you know, you get a little bit, a little vibe there, man. All right. Now, let's get into what y'all came here for. Now, of course, as we reported on the whole situation with Charleston White and um, uh, your boy 600 Breezy. I told y'all that his ops was going to have a field day, you know, and um, kind of more information came out actually on that video. And to be honest with you, it seemed like Charleston actually stood his ground. You know, um, there's a there's a longer video out there surfacing or whatever the case may be. I could um, find it. It's all over the um, Internet. But there's a longer video than just a clip that was put out initially. Right. And Charleston's pretty saying, yo, listen, I stand on everything I said. And he did tell him that he was going to go to jail. Let's put that out there. So I see a lot of people, even me, I stated in the video that if I was 600 breezy and I ran into somebody like Charleston White, who was talking about my boy saying he going to do this to King Vaughn, he would have did this to King Vaughn, and King Vaughn is this and that. It would have been no talking. It would have just been straight to it. However, you know, it's easier said than done sometimes. And as a man, I could admit that. You know what I mean? Um... After listening to what 600 Breezy had to say, he kind of made sense. You know, it, it definitely made sense. He said, yo, listen, what's the sense of putting my hands on him or doing anything to him when he already told me to my face that I'm going to jail because he's going to call the cops? All right. Not to mention, I already think that Charleston White is an agent of some type of sort that's out there to just get these rappers caught up. But that's just a whole nother situation. Now, when it comes to your boy 600 Breezy, and his ops, like I told y'all, they was going to have a field day with it. They didn't care about anything I just said as far as uh, Charleston uh, saying he's going to call the cops. None of that. They made fun of 600 Breezy. And not to mention, once again, Billionaire Black, along with your boy King Yellow. They spoke about that situation that happened in Vegas a long time ago that went viral when... Uh, 600 Breezy, Billionaire Black, and King Yellow was pretty much in the mall, and it was just Breezy, you know? Now, to be honest with you, I don't know why they keep bringing that situation up, because yes, they did run down on 600 Breezy, however, nothing happened. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Nothing happened. So at the end of the day, you could keep mentioning it, but at the end, nothing happened. There was no outcome. So I wouldn't mention anything about it because it, I don't know. That's just me. But 600 Breezy, he's pretty much tired of it. So he offered to fight. He said, yo, listen, we could meet up at the same place, same time. We could do whatever. He said he's off parole. So if anything happened, then them guys go to jail, then he could bond out. But he's willing to fight. And as a man, if they are willing to do that, it just is what it is. I'd rather them do that than to kill each other, shoot each other, or whatever the case may be. If they want to box, then that makes a little more sense. But I don't think your boy THF Billa was with it because he clearly stated that he's not King Yella. <laughs> uh, in response to what uh, Breezy said, you know, offering to fight, he said, listen, I'm not King Yella. None of them other dudes pretty much don't play with him. So that's pretty much it, man. Um, it sounds like your boy 600 Breeze, he's just tired of it, you know. I know he wanna live down that situation that happened in Vegas. He probably really wanna put some pause on these dudes because I'm tired of hearing about the situation, because quite frankly, I am too. You know, so it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think about your boy Breezy wanting to fight Bella, um, King Yella, and um Billionaire Black. 
In fact, who y'all think will actually win? They say your boy Breezy a big dude, man. It's what, 6263? Who knows? You might got some hands. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, y'all let us know how y'all feel about this in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.